All right, so in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create your um, your working file. It's going to have your corridor in it and your terrain, and then we're going to lay down um, some catch basins and some storm drainage. First, let's uh, create one of our files. Um, here you can see I've already created my roadway project. Here I've got some, um, started working on some networks. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this uh, computed network right here uh, for number three. I like to put a transparency on the corridor. That way I can see my catch basins and my pipes underneath the roadway. And it'll look sharp once we get it uh, put together. You'll see it. So it looks like everything's ready to go. We don't have anything in our files, so first let's um, let's go to our homes tab and we're gonna attach our collector file for our roadway model. I put this um, DG in together that just references all these all the alignments in the corridors. So I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna give it a nesting depth of one. I'm gonna hit OK. Looks like uh, all our models got attached. There they are. Um, my terrain is turned off right now. So we can turn that on. This is this is the imported terrain. Uh, new feature they have in, our, in release three. And here's the terrain from our surveys groups. But um, so the intersection we're going to be working on. There's a network right here. Uh, I think there's. Let's go ahead, let's attach our, uh, our hydro design um, that, that they did in um, Geopack. This is just going to be a, a short reference, kind of expedite this process. Um, we want to make sure that uh, line style is reference, reference since it's a microstation drawing. Ooh. We broke it. There it is. All right. So here we'll just be able to see our uh, where the catch basins are supposed to go. Right there. Um. So let's see. Next, we want to make that 3D reference file in here. So I'm just going to grab this terrain. set it to active and then if we look at our there's our roadway here's this intersection we're about to start modeling in um, so real quick just to make things simple I'm going to throw a fence around this area and then I'm going to clip these Also going to do the same thing uh, in my 3D model. That way we're not seeing the whole project. Right, so now that we've got that looking real nice, what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to change this uh, display style to smooth modeling. And then I also want to see that terrain surface. So let's turn on those triangles. There they are. And then um, now I'm going to throw that transparency on this reference. That way we'll be able to see those pipes underneath. And this is where I think the, the issue's coming in. So if I'm in my uh, 2D view and I grab my uh, collector file, 
I'm going to set that transparency to, let's just go to 70. You can see there's pretty much no color. And um, so if we open this uh, hierarchy and we look at that reference, it applied 70 most of them, and then there's also some 91s in there. So I don't know what the deal with that is, but um, I'll show you. So we'll just save settings real quick. I'm going to close open roads, and then I'll open it back up. And uh, you'll see that all those um, nested references are going to be set on 70. You can see, now you can see there's some color in there. If we go look at our nested references, they're all on 70. So somehow there's some bugging in there, applying an additional transparency. So here's a here's a good starting location. Um, this is usually where I would set this uh, let me back this up. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put it in this backup file. Just keep the same name. This way I, I won't have to do all that manipulation again if something happens. But I don't think anything will happen. I think we'll be able to make the drainage system just fine. See our file path up here. We're back up. Okay, now we're back into the uh, working folder. All right. So next, we need to create a um, drainage model. So we're in the drainage and utilities workflow. We've got a layout and then place node. It's going to ask me, do I want to create this model? I'm going to hit yes. And then it's going to um, import those resources in here. zoom in here we want to our catch basins we're going to put them on this uh, face of curb line it's actually should be right here there it is uh, let's see is it I'm going to turn that off Just turn that whole thing off other than let's see what level is that? It is DR in the text. We'll just leave that one on. So let's go to our neurology. Turn this stuff off. catch basins are going to go. Alright. So we're going to choose this place node tool. And now we can choose which kind of catch basin we're going to place. We're going to place the type 16. And then um, we're going to do relative alignment. That way if we end up later having to come in and put a turn lane in here we won't have to come realign these catch basins. 
So it's gonna first it's asking for an elevation reference. Uh, again, we're just gonna come in here and select this uh, top face of curve. And there's our. We can see it's updating that top elevation. I'm gonna select this nearest snap, and that way we're just gonna track it along that uh, face of curve. One thing that would be nice if this was transparent. But all right, so there's our place it on that curve now we just need to rotate it so that data click and then it's wanting the reference I'm going to choose this EOP left and uh, of course that's not where we want to go so I hit end to unlock that and it's going to need to be rotated looks like northwest by 90 degrees so I'm just going to type in 90 W and left click And there it is. We can see our, if I zoom in here, there's our catch basin. Looks like it lined up very nicely with our um, gutter and our sidewalk. So then we can just proceed down the road and place our next one. That's on the front, so you can see it when it hovers over it. So let's just move a little bit more. There we go. And then it's asking for that rotation reference. And it remembered that 90 degrees northwest. So we just drop it again by left clicking. We've got one more on this side. Do the same thing here. Select that EOP and accept. And there's our catch basin on that side. I'm going to um, right click to get out of that because now I want to set these catch basins along the other side. We still want these type 16s. So I'm going to choose this um, face a curb linear element. And then there's our curb face. Um, select that EOP. And then here it uh, is remember that angle from the other side of the roadway so I'm gonna hit the end key that's gonna let me swing this catch basin around and that is gonna be northeast by 90 degrees so north 90 E and then I can hit enter and I'll lock it in that's one thing I didn't do last time I just went ahead and accepted it but I'll left click to accept that and there's our catch basin on that side of the roadway Oh, looks like I missed one. I have to go backwards. That's okay. Um, Bentley is actually working on upgrading the Explorer so we can move these in the order that they're placed. Um, curb face top, yep, that's what we want. Relative to alignment. And just left click. So it's nice that it remembers those settings. You can place a lot of these catch basins. There's other, you can, of course you can do other tools too where you place them, but this is just a small demonstration of this particular step. Um, we want to put that catch basin up here. Uh, let's get that top face of curb. And then, you know, just select that EOP and click through. And then I'm going to hit the escape key. And then now you can see Catch basins are all placed along our roadway. Now um, we have a ditch running, or not a ditch, excuse me, an old flow line that would come down through here. And so we're going to have an outlet here, and then we're going to have an inlet on this side of the, the roadway. Um, to do that, what we want to do is go back to our 2D model and this time we're going to place a node we want to do a head wall with the beveled pipe ends let's drop that down um, I just happen to know it's 36 but for calculation purposes let's just start off with this 15 Later we're going to get utilize the um, drainage software to get this to automatically size this pipe for us. Um, it 
might not resize this, I don't know. So anyways, we're going to pick the existing ground, and I'm not exactly sure where that low point is. This should be right in here. Uh, let, me, let me exit out of this. I'm going to turn these contours on real quick. That low point is somewhere right in there. Oh. Yeah. So after we fix that ditch, it's probably going to be right here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave those on for now. So I'm going to select existing ground. I'm going to come in here, place that, and then it's wanting no alignment. I am going to toggle that to absolute. And then I can hit end. Now we can swing this opening around. So we're going to face it there. We can see there's that uh, mitered edge. We look at our, here's our model. And we can, we're going to straighten that up here in a second. But next we want to, let's put our outlet on this side. And there we can see our um, ditch that's flowing, flowing south. So let's put another node. Again, we're going to select this terrain, and we're going to set that right here. And there's our, there's our outlet on that side. And there we go. It's a little dark. Let's see. Let's do something real quick. Lighting up. Oh. Might help if I make this view active. There we go. It turns them a little bit white. Right, so next, we're going to place the inlets between these structures. Start off with 12 inch pipe, and we're going to do uh, RCP. Let's see, where's our? There's our first catch basin. So you can see these connection regions are on either the four sides of these catch basins. So I'm just going to uh, select there somewhere close to the middle. And we can see that. So now drawing our pipe. If we look over there in our model, we might be able to, you can see that orange line up there. So we're just going to connect it again to this side of the next catch basin. And we'll draw it in there. And then there we can see our, our pipe. It's cutting it off on the inside of the wall. And then we're just going to keep going on that run. the street
if you look real closely there you'll see the pipe opening um, it's actually showing us what it looks like in 3D because the pipes slope down we can see that opening they're skewed it's pretty neat and there's our pipe oh, slip and slide Let's go up here. Oh, that's the wrong network. Here we go. It's 301 or 310. Connect that. Then we can exit out. <coughs> and then now we got our network put together. We'll start going through and running some uh, some design and some analysis to see get those pipes resized, and then we can get those outlets uh, aligned and angled the right way. But might be able to see it better underneath. There we go. video.